Hi everyone, today we will demonstrate how to make finishing for the room, wall, and floor using dye. Automatically using dye, completely automatically using dye. But before dynamo, we are using manual way, like we all did. Uh, choose wall type of the wall, and then Finish face exterior, and then we do it like this. And as you see, it takes a lot of time to do this. And another problem, if we have window or door in the wall, it will close the window. Uh, for the floor, we will do the same manually. We will not do all the floor, we will do part of the wall, just to save our time. See how much take time to make every turn on the floor. This isn't the first before dynamo. After dynamo, it will be automatically and it will be very fast. Let us do it using dynamo. I will undo everything and we will open dynamo player. I put the script inside. I will explain this later. Then we choose the floor and wall, whatever, and the height we want to do, and then run the script, and then choose the room, and voila. It will create very fast, very accurate, and solve the problem. If you have window, it will cut around the window. If you have door, it will cut around the door, and do the floor just in one click. And let us choose another. Uh, suppose we wanted to change the finishing, this finishing in this room. So we will use another finishing, veneer for example, and the wall. We will choose the wallpaper and the height, we will make it higher a little bit. And then run. It will always say this script to finishing wall and floor using. Room boundary and done by Minerbatir. And then we will choose the room and then click finish. It will create everything in one second. There is a row, there is a structure column to go around structure column. And if there is a door, it will be cut around the door window as we mentioned. And the even though the, the the room is very complicated, like this room, I make complicated room like this, not easy room. So we will try in this one, veneer, wooden, and then choose wooden door, and then the height, keep the height like this, and then we will choose this, and click finish. We'll do it very, 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 very fast. And then if we have even a door opening, opening without door, it will create it as a door also. I put this in my consideration in the, in the design of the script. And then there is a window like this. And every single detail he will do it. Which means like this, it will go around. Then we choose a complicated room to demonstrate 
that this script will work in any places. Uh, before jumping to the Dynamo script to explain how we did this, uh, I will ask you if you like this uh, video, uh, kindly uh, like and share to my channel. Now we will demonstrate how the uh, script works from inside Dynamo. Uh, just to open Dynamo. Uh, Dynamo, by the way, Dynamo and Dynamo player are working together. And we start with Dynamo to create the script like this, and after this we will put it inside Dynamo player. And then it will work in the player with the easy way. Uh, the script is uh, consists of this uh, input and creating the wall and joining the wall and gen joining the wall. Uh, input, we will put here the input uh, rooms as a category and wall type and floor type and wall height. And this to detect the uh, selected room. We will make an example here. We will run this. And Dynamo need to fresh, but here in, 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 in Dynamo player. But here you need to fresh it every time and then run. You will choose a room, you will choose this room for example, and then finish it. As we see in the dialog player, it will do this. Let us now see how it he will collect the room by selection. And this is the room, and by the way, it is green, which means it's an element and dynamo detected. From this room, we will go for the first part of the script is uh, creating the wall. Creating the wall from the room, we detect the room, so we take the room from here, and then from the room, we will uh, uh, detect the uh, room boundary. Room boundary, we can get it from here. This is the room boundary. This is the room boundary. This one. And this one is the window, the window and the door. Okay. We detect the room boundary from here. And then we will make the curve polycurve. Uh, the reason of making polycurve is to make sure that it is connected uh, each curve to each other. This curve, this curve, this curve. And then we will make a trick. This trick is to make it like uh, a surface. And from the curve, you will make this as a surface. And then after surface, you will deduct the boundary of the surface. This will eliminate if any small mistakes. This trick in Dynamo to make sure it is well connected each other. If you ignore this two and do from here to here directly, it can work. But for some some rooms it will not work if there is so this trick is to make sure that it is well connected okay and this is the main node here is to create the wall by curve height level and wall type wall type we, we get it from the input curve you get it from here height from the input also level it can be from the input but we make it easy for you, uh, we deduct from the from the room, and this one node is take from the room. From the room, we get element parameter. We set the parameter level, so we get the level from here, and then we deduct the level by the name, so you get the level from here. So instead of picking and shares, ch search, where is this room? Where is this level? Now it will detect the level which room is located automatically by this three nodes. Here we create, create the wall. After creating the wall, we will do the join. We have here window. If you go like this, we have window here, window here, and door here. Window, window, door. So in Dynamo, it will detect this window, and this window, and the door. 
the trick here in this one how to make join wall because we have a lot of wall we cannot make join all the wall to all the wall it will give you a lot of error but we want to detect where is the wall we will cut and where is the wall we will join from this script this is the main idea of this one it is very important node here from uh, one of the package clockwork by the way how to get the package you get the package from here workspace reference we will give you here all the package which i so me screenshot from this one and download the package from here and then download each package by name from here so this uh, script will work only if you download this for backend. Okay. Uh, this one will get from the room. You will get the door. The row, the door is attached to this room. So you get the door from here. And when you get the door, you will make a bounding box. This bounding box. If you click here, it will change the color here. This is the bounding box, and this is the wall. This is the wall, and this is the bounding box. In this one, he will very important note. He will tell you where this intersect with this one, and if this intersect, he will say yes. This is what we need: is to tell in one of them yes, and the other no, and by filter volume we will get the wall which is located in this door which means this uh, wall when we got it by uh, filter by volume mask we will get this wall and from this wall we will get only one wall this one which we needed this is the wall how to detect this is the wall located in the door because this door is located in another wall, this wall. But the new wall has no relationship with this door. So this is a trick of this uh, script. To get this wall coincide with this wall. And then we will make uh, element uh, join. We will join this one with this one. The funny issue, if you uh, move the the door it will move automatically with the door because we they are uh, joined each other this one and this one and if you see it will move automatically with this one uh, we reach to this point the same we will do for the uh, this is the for the wall this is the for the wall with the window and same we have the same node from uh, clock work for dynamo 2 we have this important node it will give you the window located in this uh, room and then you can join and then it will solve all this one how we can put this in a dynamo uh, player it's very easy you close it from here and you know where you put it And then you open Dynamo Player from here. Manage Dynamo Player. And when you open Dynamo Player, this is a, a, a script which we use. You open this one. He will give you where to put it. And then after you download it from my channel, you put it here. When you put it here and close this file, it will come here in the list automatically. And then you can use it from there. And just you put it there, it will come here. And then you click on this one. You can run it from here, but it's better to do it like this. Uh, since you have some uh, input, you have to fill this one and this one. If you don't have any input and run automatically, you can run it from there easily 
uh, this is how to use this uh, automatically with uh, the dynamo script to make finishing floor and wall uh, if you like this video please uh, like and share it will help a lot thanks for watching